my channel so today I have another video and it is an unboxing I haven't done one since my big time rush tattoo inspired hat that I got from BTR wallpapers so this is Carlos and Alexa Penavega's new book called love is the point it's a part of their book what if love is a point it's I guess you can say like a continuation. Um, so it's out now. Go get yours at Barnes & Noble. Target's website, Walmart's website, because sadly they don't have those in stores, and any other places you can get books. And Amazon, because that's where I got mine, and I paid extra to get it yesterday on release day. Otherwise, I had to wait till the 25th, and I didn't want to. <laughs> so, I just paid extra for it and got it yesterday. So, here we go. Being careful not to... I think this blade has been through a lot. There's a tape on it. Ooh, it's packaged nice. I was like, where is it? Because I didn't see it at first. introduction is so cute I kind of want to read this introduction to you guys and then there's the back and there's Carlos and Alexa oh this is so <laughs> I love about the others too. And there's an acknowledgement at the end. And there's little like spots if you want to. To write, like, list the stresses, challenges, and barriers in your daily life that make it more difficult to connect with God. If possible, solutions come to mind, jot those down too. Um, and then there's, I think it's on each, yeah, it's on each, like, devotional. Like in each devotional, there's like something that you can jot down. I love that. On every single day. So I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read you guys the introduction. If you're like most people so this is introduction, love is a point. If you're like most people, you want your life to have a point. You want it to matter. That's true whether you're in front of the camera, working construction, raising kids, or flipping burgers. All of us were made to live with purpose. Before we met each other, both of us experienced a season when we were hungry to find that purpose. After some bumps in our lives, we realized that what we thought would satisfy the fame, the paycheck, 
the relationship. Couldn't feel our deep hunger to live a life that makes a different difference. A life that had a point. Don't worry, we're not going to tell you that meeting each other was some sort of fairy tale game changer. Though there were some fairy tale moments. When we were in those hard places, we were each drawn into a relationship with Jesus that did change the game. Realizing we were forgiven and loved by God made all the difference. And everything else that that's good has sprung from that, separately and together. We've learned how to love each other, how to love our friends, how to love our kids, how to love God, and how to love the world. And we're convinced that this, not the followers or the success or the red carpet, is the point. Love is the point. And there's more good news. Love happens right where, right where we live. It happens right where you live. Love happens in the kitchen, at church, on a text thread, in an airport, wherever we are, wherever you are. We can live a life that's meaningful when we seek to live a life of love. In these pages, we are sharing what that's looked like in our lives. Spoiler alert, our friend Andrew is kind of a love guru. After Jesus, he's our most trusted guide, and you'll get to see what love looks like in his life. So, you're welcome. We are, go we are also going to encourage you to live out your love in action right where you are, in your home, at your job, on the street, because we want to see you live it out. We'll be your biggest cheerleaders. If you need to, imagine us in matching skirts, hopping up and down, and waving pom-poms. Do what you need to do. We're completely convinced that when it comes to living well, to living a life that makes life that matters and makes a difference. We were made for love, so we're excited to share this journey with you. It's what you're made for. Love is a point. Let's do this. Lex and Los. Oh. This itself is so cute. Oh my gosh. I also want to read the about the authors because I feel like even this, it's like short, but it's, I love it. So about the authors, how are you guys also get to know more about Carlos and Alexa? Carlos and Alexa are parents to three adventurous children, Ocean, Kingston, and Rio. They divide their time between Maui and Florida, but travel often for work. Between the two of them, they act, sing, and have a family vlog on YouTube called La Vida Penavega. They competed against each other on the same season of Dancing with the Stars and have starred in multiple homework movies. This is my favorite part. Carlos is a part of the successful musical group Big Time Rush and continues to make music and, tra and tour with them around the world. And it says the same thing at the back, too. And then the back also says, discover God's love and share with the world around you. If you ever wondered how to make a difference in the world or show God's love to others, Carlos and Alexa Penavega are ready to take you on a 100-day hundred day journey. Not 200. I don't know why I said 200. 100-day journey to recognize the ways that God shows you love in your daily life and help you discover opportunities to share that love with those around you through personal stories, biblical guidance, and engaging reflection questions and journaling prompts. You'll be consistently reminded of God's faithfulness and love for you. Carlos and Alexa will help you practice recognizing the many ways God's love is at work in your life. Create simple action steps to show 
love to your friends, neighbors, and strangers, and find encouragement through their examples on of focusing on God every day. Love in action is what life is all about. Whether you are suffering or celebrating, you can learn to hear God's quiet voice encouraging you to show extravagant kindness and care, recognizing God's touch at work in your life, and expanding that love into the world around you will change everything because love is the point. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. So, this is called Love is a Point. A hundred days of God's love for you and how to share it with those around you. In a way, I prefer this hardcover over the hardcover for what if love is a point no it's like i love the picture of them on it and all that and that one is is signed by them but my favorite hardcover books are like the ones where like it's there's like no sleeve or anything on it yeah. it's actually like hard there's like no sleeve that constantly comes off and but other than that this book is insane in a good way this first one itself is so cute day one this is like so cute so I actually want to read day one with you guys Day one, love strangers. We thought we knew when our third child was going to arrive, but sweet Rio surprised us and showed up six weeks early. My, Lexus friend, Chelsea, was arranging for us to receive meals, but what blew us away was that we didn't know a lot of the folks who were showing up at our doorstep with delicious, healthy meals for our family. One, then stranger but now friend was eight months eight months pregnant when she showed up with yummy tacos for the Pena Vega family. At the time I was shocked that a very pregnant mother one of one was willing to show up for a stranger in need. I know how I feel when I'm pregnant. It isn't easy. But in but that action changed the posture of my heart. I want to be ready and willing to love and serve no matter the season of my life. Keep loving those who are near and dear to you, but also keep your eyes open for the stranger or the friend that you haven't yet met who is in need. And then it has the little, um, I guess like a questionnaire type thing. Describe a time when someone you didn't know surprised you with a loving action. How did you respond? Do you remember how your heart felt? So I want you guys to comment your answer to this below. But, yeah. That's pretty much how the book is for all, that I, all of the days. It's just afterwards. This one is sacrifice for one another. Afterwards, it has like a question, and then how you had to lose a person in your life in this moment that you're being called to sacrifice for. Maybe an older relative needs help with caregiving. Maybe your spouse's job requires a move. Maybe the needs of a hurting friend cut in on your Netflix time. And it says, Today I sacrificed for. That's for tomorrow's. And then the question is. How has a family member or friend shown you sacrificed love? So, I don't want you guys to answer this one today. Again, the question is, describe, I'll put it right here on the screen. Describe a time when someone you didn't know surprised you with loving action. How did you respond? Do you do you remember how your heart felt? You can 
Of course, also pause it or go back if you didn't get it. But yeah. And there's like little challenges in each of them for the love and action part. So this challenge says, love and action. When sudden needs arise, a friend loses a job, a pregnant mama is forced to endure bed rest, or a neighbor receives a scary diagnosis. Someone will often post about them on social media. Keep your eyes peeled this week for ways to love that person in need who you don't yet know. So, yeah. Again, guys, go get um, your copy of Love is a Point, a 100-day um, devotional book by Carlos and Alexa Penavega, and order it from Amazon like I did, or get it at your local Barnes & Noble, or... Um, get it off of Target's or Walmart's website. And, um, Carlos and Alexa, I'm so proud of you guys, and I love you guys so much. And this book is amazing. <laughs>